Namo Buddhaya. Dear meritorious devotees and my dear children, we start our day in the morning. So morning is an important time in the day. If we did something good and if we spend our morning successfully, then the whole day will be very happy and nice. At the end of the day, when you're going to bed, you can recall about you on your day and you can be happy if you start the day with a happy mind. So, the morning is more important in our life. So how you spend the morning determines how you spend the day. So, if you start the day, if you start in the morning, if you, if you start your day with a good thought, with a wholesome thought, then your whole day will be happy. That refreshment will last long for, whole, for the whole day. So, here are a few things that you can do in every morning. In each and every morning, when you open your eyes, you feel that you are alive, that you feel that you are not dead. But for many people, that morning had been the worst morning of their life. They may be dead, they may fall into sickness. So in each and every morning, when you open your eyes and when you feel that you are alive, then you should be grateful for yourself to your life of being alive. You, could be, you can be happy and always be grateful for people who help you to live this life. With the help of those people, you are living in this world. So in each and every morning, when you open your eyes to this world, Think of the people who helped you on your life journey. Your parents, your teachers maybe, maybe your relations, maybe your wife, maybe your husband. Always recall the people who helped you on this journey of life and be grateful for them. In every morning when you get up, if you can think May all of my parents, teachers, relatives, and all of them be well and happy. If you can wish from the deepest place of your heart. If you can generate the kindness, love to themselves, then you can start your day with a happy mind. And also, there are some people who make troubles for our life. So we are in a mood of anger about them. When you get up in the morning, think of them and try to forgive them. If you started forgiving to the people who make troubles in your life, if you start forgiving to the enemies of you, then you can live your life peacefully. You may not find the agony or you may not find the stress within yourself because you have forgiven them. Though they are angry with you, though they hate you, if you have forgiven, then you will not carry that anger, that hatred to the next life. That is what we should do. If someone does a terrible or miserable thing to your life, start forgiving then each and in each and every morning forgive all the enemies and all the people who makes troubles to your life that is another thing that we can do in every morning and think of the whole living beings all living beings in this world and spread your love and kindness towards them you can think, may all the beings be well and happy. 
May all the beings be healthy. May all living beings find the true happiness in their life. By generating these kind thoughts, compassionate thoughts, your heart will be cleansed. If your heart is abandoned from evil thoughts, then only you can find the happiness. Then only you can start your day with a happy mind. Then only your whole day will be a successful and a happy one. So make sure in every morning you practice the love and kindness when you get up. That is what we can do in every morning. Every morning starts with the dawn. Dawn is a special and beautiful time in the day. But that dawn, that beautiful and wonderful dawn cannot make your life a beautiful one, a wonderful one. Supreme Buddha taught, if a person in the morning contemplates on Supreme Buddha, if he recalls the qualities of Dhamma, if he recalls the qualities of Sangha, if he generate the love and kindness within his heart, if he has an innocent heart within him, that morning will be the greatest and the wonderful morning that he is having in his life. So, dear devotees and my dear children, make sure in every morning to practice love and kindness be grateful for the people who you get the help to your life and always contemplate on the supreme buddha dhamma and sangha and be kind be compassionate and practice love and kindness whenever possible and always remember every time is possible for you to practice love and kindness in your life. Namo Buddhaya Tiruvan Saranaya.